is uh, my soloist backpacking kit uh, cook setup. Uh, what I got here is a clean canteen 40 ounce uh, water bottle that I use. Uh, very good bottle, it's stainless steel, uh, keeps your water really clean and in an emergency you could always uh, throw it on the stove and boil up water if you absolutely needed to. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is my cook setup and basically what I carry inside of this and what I use when I go backpacking. This is the, um, the Snow Peak 700 and it's basically a titanium pot that you can use for cooking and you boil up water with it and this is it right here. <clears throat> it's got a little uh, measuring on the side here. It's all backwards because you're, you're supposed to look on the inside of it, but it goes from 4 ounces, 8 ounces, 12 ounces, up to 16 ounces, which is good measuring because usually the food that you cook with is going to be uh, 8 ounces or 16 ounces. So this is the 700 Snow Peak titanium pot, and inside I've got a bandana and what I keep in there is the Snow Peak 450 titanium cup that uh, I use for coffee or just to have another little pot to cook with but uh, very lightweight um, not sure exactly what the weight is on it but it's extremely extremely light and inside of my uh, coffee pot, my coffee mug. I've got salt, pepper, I've got a folding spoon, got a folding fork, and let's take those guys out here. I've got my Snow Peak uh, Giga Power stove. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Fits right into my cook set here. Wow. And I've got myself a little cook set right here. So what I'm going to show you guys today is uh, how to cook up the mountain house meal with uh, the snow peak. So I think we're cooking up today uh, beef stew, beef stew, and uh, it calls for uh, 16 ounces of water. So we're going to boil it up with my stove and in the rest of my kit here I have uh, the windscreen <clears throat> and I also have the gas that goes with it. So here's the windscreen for the stove and here's the gas that we're going to use for the stove. So let me show you how this goes. Tiny little stove inside the box here. Pull this guy out. As you can see he's really, really tiny. One thing you always got to remember about this stove is to cinch this down before you screw it to the propane, or you'll have propane spilling all over you. And you don't want that. So now that I've had it cinched down, open up the prongs. This is the pot holder for our pot. I'll take the uh, Butane propane mix that you can get anywhere. I got this one at Walmart. These work with uh, any kind that are like this, so they're uh, pretty easy to find. Spin that guy on like that, nice and snug. And uh, since it's a little bit breezy outside today, we're going to put the windscreen on. So we just fold these guys in a little bit. Take the stainless steel windscreen, also fairly light, and just gonna here. set this down on my knee here and show it a little easier. Just kind of pop them through and just push out the legs. Voila, got instant meat. So let's boil up uh, 16 ounces of water because uh, that's what our package here is called. Titanium 700 Snow Peak pot. Throw it on here and open up our clean canteen. Fill this guy up with 16 ounces of water. About there on the line. Close that up and we are pretty much ready. 
ready to go. I'm going to take a lighter here and light our stove in the wind. Let's turn this on. And we're lit. Throw this here on the top. This comes with a stainless steel lid. Most people don't like it. I actually like the function because you can open it like this. And actually, you can see it As you can see, the windscreen works fairly good because it's fairly breezy out here right now. Anyway, we'll throw this on here. Uh, okay, it's been about uh, two and a half minutes. And uh, lifting this up, as we see, there's um, got some bubbles going on in there. Just about ready to boil. Put the lid back on there uh, just to let it cook up a little longer. But it's actually doing surprisingly well. Very right, well. Lightest weight stove on the market. Just about there to a boil. You can see the bottom. There's bubbles doing the boiling thing. It's probably been about three minutes and 30 seconds now. So leave that on there for another 30 seconds or so, and I think it'll be ready for uh, our freeze-dried lunch here. I'm uh, definitely getting hungry out here, watching this uh, water boiling up and looking about the mountain house is definitely uh, making me hungry. When we pour the water into the mountain house, it, it's going to take about eight or nine minutes, eight or nine minutes for uh, this to seep into the food and get it all nice and soft for uh, for your dinner. Okay, I. Uh, actually see the pot moving around a little bit it's it's kind of jerking and spinning around take the lid off and I uh, definitely think that that to me looks like a nice good boil so uh, seeing that that's a nice raging boil there I think we'll open up the mountain house and uh, get this guy going tear off the top and on the inside there's a little uh, oxygen absorber got to take that out don't throw that in there uh, leave that in there when you throw the water in uh, and all you really got to do is take the boiling water off the top here go ahead and turn that off and pour it into the package itself get all the water in there then I'll take my uh, folding spoon and lock that into place. Just spin that around and stir that up. Make sure all the ingredients are mixed up in there. That should do it. That's a good ass mountain house right there, dude. That's healthy. And uh, we'll zip that up and wait nine minutes and I will be eating some beef stew. I'd like to thank you for my review. This is Tails114 showing you my backpacker solo setup.